What's going on? Welcome to Shrek Gaming in part three of five of my Mortal Kombat must have series. I'm really excited about this one because I'm going to talk about one of my favorite characters since Deadly Alliance, Natara. And before we get started, let's keep this channel growing. Please hit that subscribe button and leave a like and a comment down below. Now let's get after it. So Natara is another highly requested 3D era character, and like a lot of the other 3D characters, she has been pretty much ignored since Armageddon, which is a real shame because she is one of the most unique, tragic, and clever characters in the Mortal Kombat universe. So Natara is a vampire from the realm of Viternus, where its inhabitants, although had a very thriving civilization, lived off of drinking the blood of others. Early in its existence, a vampire named Cahill Gregish came across the Detusha Blade. The Detusha Blade is cursed with bloodlust, and it manipulates its wielder by having them think that they are serving a higher purpose by killing other vampires. After a few centuries, Gregish gained his sanity back and took the blade to the Nether Realm, committing suicide and trapping the blade in the Nether Realm. And for most Mortal Kombat fans, Right there, if you know, you know. Afterwards, not everything went back to being good. The realm of Viternus was then conquered by Shao Kahn and merged with Outworld, which is where Natara's Mortal Kombat presence begins in Deadly Alliance. So here's where we really get to see Natara's character come into play. With Shao Kahn dead, Natara discovered an orb that if destroyed will bring back her home world. However, it is surrounded by lava keeping her from getting to it. So, she convinces Reptile to go to battle for her against Cyrax so that Reptile might destroy Cyrax's teleporter, stranding him in Outworld. After Reptile succeeds, she then convinces Cyrax to retrieve the orb for her, and in return she will use her portal stone to teleport him back to Earthrealm. So this is why Natara is such a cool character. She uses both her beauty and her brains to complete her mission to restore Viternus to its formal glory. But remember when I said that this is a tragedy? Well, it gets much worse. That Detusha Blade that was supposed to be trapped in the Netherrealm had found a new wielder in the demon Ashra. So can continue its bloody conquest. After Ashra escaped the Netherrealm, she went on a bloody vampire killing spree in Viternus. Natara had heard reports of this and to her surprise found most of her people slaughtered. Now Natara had a new mission and that was to destroy both Ashra and the Detusha Blade, in which she had to go to Adenia to do so, where she had heard that the Blade's counterpart existed. After leading Ashra to Adenia, the last tragedy had emerged and that was the events of Armageddon. Natara's story is why 3D era Mortal Kombat storytelling is so loved. It's deep and complex, and much like Ashra's story, it doesn't really take place within the main story arc. It's happening in the background. Yes, she does interact with other characters, but in no way she shapes the outcome of the main story. She is on her own path, fulfilling her own quest, using her cleverness and her beauty for a noble purpose. So now let's talk about mechanics. So this is going to be a bit different because I really think Natara should be a grappler. Now hear me out. As a vampire, they would have to be able to submit their prey to their will. So I think it'd be really cool to have some sort of judo or jujitsu fighting style influence in Mortal Kombat. I think she could be really unique in that sense because she could have great setups for command grabs using mix-ups, slow moving blood projectiles and parries. Now what I really think would be interesting is a flight mechanic. Because with the flight mechanic, it would work as a mid-air stance to where she can either dive kick, dive grab, or air projectile. And if you have some pop-ups to her bread and butter combos and her normals, the flight mechanic would make for some pretty cool combos. Natara has been one of my favorite characters. She's very different, very unique. She doesn't really look like any of the other characters as well. Her story exists in the back end. It doesn't exist in the main story arc, which is really 
cool because I got to explore more of Mortal Kombat, much like Serena and Ashra. However, I think it's time that Natara is really brought to the front stage, that she's really given some time to shine along with Serena and that these characters from the 3D era can really play a big part in Mortal Kombat. I still think Natara can be a pretty big part of Mortal Kombat in the main story while also fulfilling her own quest as well. It'd be really cool to see this character emerge. So I'd like to know what you guys think. Please like, subscribe, please comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And until next time, Shred out. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crying in the street.